creating solo programmers. This is Pavel, and this is, I believe, part four of our turtle graphics exercise. So we're st kind of in the middle of it. Uh, also, in the past exercises, we did some classes, and uh, we have some to-do methods. And um, in this one, uh, let's do the we did the directions. So now let's do the pen class actually before we do anything else, because it's gonna be kind of like the uh, directions it's gonna be just an enum class so it's gonna be a public class and but unlike directions directions were static because uh, if you remember I explained that uh, each direction uh, is uh, basically evaluated uh, at the time of the move with each move we call this method and uh, we uh, assign the direction. We don't have to remember anything uh, as far as like the state of the object. We don't have to remember what our previous direction is or anything like that. With the pen, it's different because pen can be up uh, or down, and when it's down, then we are drawing on our board. We have to remember whether we are drawing or not. So this one will not be static. We need to remember the state of our class or of our object. So I'm gonna create. Um, well, let me just uh, comment it quickly since uh, I started to do it in the with the other classes. We need to remember the state of the pen for next move, so the class cannot be static or shouldn't be. It still would work, so you could make it work, but it's better if it's not in this case. So let's do a private. Um, actually, now let's do a public enum pen actions, and it's gonna be two of them down, actually, up or down, drawing or not, and uh, we will do our private. Uh, pen actions variable called pen action. This one will hold the state of our pen, and um, we will call. Since this is obviously a private variable, we will. Uh, oh, I misspelled something. Private pen actions. Uh, well, let me come back to it. First, we need to do the. Uh, property that uh, will set or return the value of our private variable pen action. So public and it's going to be pen actions that's going to be returned from it um, and I'll call it pen action and now uh, and the problem is that I'm doing everything outside of my class right here. That's why it was all messed up. And here you go. And this one is uh, outside of the class too. Sometimes that happens to me. I don't notice these uh, brackets and then I'm typing and it's you know giving me all these errors and I'm thinking what's wrong with it but here we go anyway so this is a this is a property that will have get and that will return our variable pen action and we will have set that will uh, set our pen action and if you remember in our old directions we had to do switch statement and we since this is uh, actually taken in and returning enum, we have to convert the value because our input is an integer from the user. We have to convert that into uh, the uh, corresponding enum. And the same thing is with our pen. So we will do switch statement and convert the integer, the value that is being passed into this property. Uh, will be uh, an integer so we have to 
we have to i mean it's gonna be converted to an integer or cast to an integer so um, our case one uh, our case one is the pen action equals pen actions up come on oh no it's frozen oh there you go <laughs> that would suck all right break case two uh, if this is the case two so that's gonna be our pen action is down we are drawing and if it's a uh, something some kind of a problem there by default uh, okay default the default we will call a message from a messages uh, we will call the invalid pen action message so we will call the messages since it's a static we don't have to instantiate it and we will do the invalid pen action message and break and uh, this is really all as far as the property goes so uh, let's create a constructor now public pen and in it we will by default at the beginning of our game the pen action will equal the property pen action will equal the pen actions up so at the beginning we do not draw default value pen is up so um, over here this is a property so we will do assign pen up or down based on input one or two now um, I want to I want the user to know at every every step of it in, throughout the game whether we are drawing or not whether the pen is up or not so I'm going to create a, I'm gonna be displays current state of the pen up or down and basically this is gonna be a two string method so it's gonna be public override lead to string method and um, we will return uh, formatted string so it's gonna be string dot format and we will do pen is currently up or down uh, but I don't want to just say up or down let's just say the pen is currently drawing or not drawing so I'm gonna use a ternary operator I will do the pen action if that if the pen action equals pen actions down then I want to display draw drawing otherwise display not not drawing so it will get the pen action uh, property it will uh, get the value is it up or down and if it's down if the pen action is down then it will simply display drawing uh, let's do capital two uh, and if it's uh, up basically if it's not down then it will create uh, I mean output not a drawing so it will say pen is currently drawing or pen is pen is currently not drawing so um, all right it's our pen so let's go back to our turtle I think we have now everything to make the walk because we are direction and we have our pen that is up or down and uh, I wanted to do this uh, in the last video uh, but we didn't get to it and you know what we're not gonna get to it in this video either you'll have to watch the next one and I promise in the next one we will do the actual walk of the turtle so stick around and watch the next video take care